We will now discuss controllable gates. There exist gates whose function can be controlled using one or more control inputs. We now thus have two classes of input, these control inputs and the regular data inputs. Control inputs are often shown entering the device from above or below. The simplest such control is a single input called an enable. We will consider a buffer controlled by an enable input. In the present context, I have renamed the regular input of the buffer data in or d in and the regular output data out or d out. This is the truth table and logic symbol for a buffer. In a buffer, the output d out has the same value as the input d in. By adding an enable control, we can switch the buffer on or off. When the enable input is 1, the buffer is set to be enabled and operates normally. When the enable input is 0, the buffer is disabled. Regardless of the input, the output freezes in a no output mode denoted by x. This x is neither 0 nor 1. It is also not to be confused with the label x that we used along with a, b, and c in previous videos. This is the truth table for this buffer. When en is 0, the gate is disabled, and d out is in the no output mode x. When en is 1, the buffer acts normally, and d out is equal to d in. This truth table may be written in shorter ways. Since the disabled state is unaffected by the value of d in, we may collapse the top two rows and leave the value of d in undefined. The lower two rows can also be combined, since if the buffer is enabled, the output d out is equal to the input d in. Finally, since the value of d in is undefined in both cases, we can remove that column altogether. In this concise form, the truth table very succinctly highlights the function of the control input EN. When this occurs, we often explicitly describe these functions within the table. The truth table may then be called a function table. EN is called a level enabling control because the function of the gate depends on the state or level of this control input. For the gate we used, the enable is said to be active high because the gate is enabled when the control input is 1 or high. There also exists active low level enabling in which the gate is enabled when the control input is low. We will follow the convention that active low inputs are indicated by two markers, the presence of a bubble at that input and the labeling of that input with a bar.